Patrick. Well, the group March 4th, which is made up of friends, family, and survivors of the Highland Park shooting, mobilized in D.C. last week to pressure legislators to enact changes to limit access to high-powered weapons. And today, lawmakers are gathering to address the ban. There are two simultaneous Judiciary Committee meetings taking place. One is in the House to do the markup of, of H.R. 1808, which is the proposed legislation that would ban the sale, import, manufacture, or transfer of certain semi-automatic weapons. And the other hearing is in the Senate, specifically around the Highland Park mass shooting. Aubrey McCarthy, member of the March 4th group, says they hope the new assault weapon ban bill is able to get approved today and sent to the House floor. I just cannot believe that this subject matter is still here. And we are very motivated for this to end once and for all so that assault weapons are banned at the federal level. McCarthy says the benefits of this ban would help prevent dangerous people who use guns to commit terrible acts of violence. But according to the NRA Institute for Legislative Action, they say that the proposed bill does not address the problem of violent crimes and criminals. They say it doesn't provide appreciable benefit to public safety, but instead infringe the rights of law-abiding Americans. In the newsroom, Andrea Medina, WGN News. Thank you, Andrea. And during the hearing this morning, Senator Dick Durbin brought up the idea of an armed citizen being able to neutralize the Highland Park shooter. A situation seen during the shooting at the Greenwood Indiana Mall this past weekend. He posed the idea to Highland Park's mayor. How much can we count on a good guy with a gun to stop a mass shooter when the mass shooter has an AR-15 style assault weapon that it can empty a 30 round magazine in about as many seconds? A good guy with a gun would have had no impact on the shooter. We have heard from hundreds of parade goers, and they all had hundreds of explanations of where the shooting had come from. They could not identify even where the shooter was, the area where this took place. There were bullets ricocheting off of walls. There was a courtyard, and we had good guys with guns on site who were trained, who got there within seconds, and it was just too hard to see where he was. We also know that these weapons and these bullets can pierce Kevlar vests. I think the fact that we had less than a minute should tell anybody who thought that a good guy with a gun would have had an impact. The only thing that would have happened would have been more chaos, more carnage. You would have had people shooting all over the place. That absolutely would have been a disaster in Highland Park. So as you just heard, Mayor Rotering saying that it was so chaotic on the 4th of July that her husband, who was in the middle of the scene at the time of the shooting, thought that the gunman was nearby on the street instead of a high on a building, as law enforcement, uh, law enforcement reports have confirmed. 